今週ヨハンによる福音書のシリーズイエスとの出会いの最後のメッセージとなります。Today is our last message in our series in the Gospel of John called Encounters with Jesus. This message is Jesus our living Lord. 今日のお話は私たちの生きておられるシエスです。先週話したことですけれども、シエスは十字架上で私たちの身代わりになって死んでくださった後、よみがえられて、そして最初によみがえられた体を示していたのは、このあマリー・マグダランですね。Last week we talked about, but after Jesus was crucified on the cross and he gave himself as an offering for our sins, He rose again, and the first person he appeared to after his resurrection was Mary Magdalene. And we see that here in the painting by Rembrandt. これはリンバンが出来た絵ですけれども、その場面を示されています。そしてその後、シエスは弟子たちのグループにもう二度とご体を示されました。So the resurrected Jesus appeared to his disciples two times after that.、Uh, first, when Thomas was not there, 最初はトモスは一緒にいませんでしたけれども、次の時はトモスは一緒にいました。So the first time he appeared to the disciples as a group, Thomas was not with him, but the next time Thomas was. Now, Thomas had wanted to look at the nail prints in Jesus' hand and the wound in his side before he believed. トーマスはもう釘の跡を見て、その槍のところ、その跡を見て、脇に、その跡を信じるようになるといました。そしてそうなりますと、シエスは現れて、もうご覧なさいと、トーマスに指を私の釘の跡に入れなさいとか、手を私の脇に入れなさいとか言って、そうトーマスは見て、私の死を私の神よと、So Thomas had wanted to see these things, so Jesus said when he appeared, you know, well, look, you know, put your finger in the nail prints in my hands, put your hand in my side where the spear was. So today, Thomas watched, and Jesus said, you know, and he worshiped the Lord. And Thomas believed, and he worshiped the Lord. So now, at the moment, Jesus had a touch, and he had a word to go to the Lord. And Jesus appeared to his disciples after this also. If we look at the Gospel of Matthew, when Jesus appeared to the women, he said this. So Jesus appeared to the women in the Gospel of Matthew, and then he said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see him. So he told his disciples, he's referring to here, to go to Galilee and meet him there. And that's where he will meet them for the third time, the resurrected Christ. So, して、その弟子たちはガルダイエコへ行くようにと言われて、シエスはそこで三度目に復活されたご自分の身を見せてくださいました。彼はヨハンによる福祉を21書に記録されて出来事です。And this is recorded in John chapter 21. Afterward, Jesus appeared again to his disciples by the Sea of Tiberias, which of course is the same as Lake Galilee. It happened this way. その後、イエスはティベリアスの湖畔で。このティベリアス湖はもうガラヤ湖と同じ。別の呼び方だけです。また、弟子たちに。ご自身を表されたその次第はこうである。シモン・ペトロ、ディディモと呼ばれるトマス、ガルダイのカナ出身のナタナエル、ゼベダイの子たち、それに他の二人の弟子が一緒にいた。サイモン・ピーター、トマス、カルデディマス、ネタネエル、フォン・ケイナ・イン・ガルリー、The sons of Zebedee、and two other disciples were together. So there are seven of the disciples that are together here. もう弟子たちは7名一緒にいるこのところですね。他の弟子たちはどこにいているか私たちはちょっとわからないですけれども、この後また弟子たちと
if Shani Hiru de Shell. So there's seven disciples here. We don't know where the rest of the disciples are, but uh, we assume that they will come back soon and be with these disciples as well. I'm going out to fish, Simon Peter told him, and they said, we'll go with you. So they went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. Shimon Petro ga watashi wa seiro ni iku to iu to, kare de wa watashi tachi mo ishu ni iko to itta. Kare wa dete itte fune ni norikonda. Shikashi sono yo wa nani mo tore nakata. So this is interesting because Peter says, oh, I'm going to go fish. That was his work before. Petro wa ro ni iku to imashite ne, sono mai no shigoto deshita. これで多くの人はもうペトロを非難しようと思います。どうして待ってるようにもどるか。ということですけれども、実はこれはいいことでしょう。もうガラライで会いましょうとメッセージを伝えてしまいます。それはいつになるか伝えなかったですね。それに何
Faith is very good and very helpful, but even more importantly, if we want to see miracles, it's the lowering of our pride, the abandoning our pride and learning to rely not on ourselves and our efforts, but on the gifts of God. Now, we don't know why they didn't recognize him, but one possible thing is, it might be other reasons, is it might have been foggy that morning on Lake Galilee. It's quite common in the morning to have fog over a lake. もう水海の上に、もう霧が出ることは、もう朝ごとに横あるものですけれども。私たちは自分の努力に頼ることよりも自分にも制限があって努力するんですでも、より努力は神様の恵みです。So that night they caught nothing after working hard and through their own efforts. But when they trusted in someone else and listened, they were unable to haul the net in because of the large number of fish. So we see that it's good for us to work hard. But that is not where we place our trust. We place our trust in God's grace. Then the disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. As soon as Simon Peter heard him say, It is the Lord, he wrapped his outer garment around him, for he had taken it off, and jumped into the water. あだかどうせんだったのでワギを待とって湖に飛び込んだこれは面白いことですねペトロは熱心があってもう船の岸まで行くことをもうそれは待つことができなく我慢ができないのでもう海に飛び込んで酔いで行ってしまうのですね so this is pretty, pretty fun here, but Peter, he, he's so passionate and he wants to get to the Lord and he doesn't want to wait for the boat to get to shore. So he just jumps in and he swims to shore. The one who noticed it's the Lord, though, is that beloved disciple, John, the author of this gospel. The other disciples followed in the boat, towing the net full of fish, for they were not far from shore, about a hundred yards. So here's uh, how Buanin uh, Segna painted the scene. これは学科は坊主に背が描いたというガカですけれどもこのように so the way this painter presents it is Peter's not swimming to shore, but he's he's walking on the surface of the lake. And uh, that's fun, and maybe it's another big miracle, but since John didn't mention anything like that, I think probably Peter just swam to shore. But it's a nice painting, and it does a good job of representing the disciples and the catch of fish. When they landed, they saw a fire of burning coals there with fish on it and some bread. So 
イエスが今取った魚を何匹か持ってきなさいと言われた。And Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish you have just caught. So they saw the fire burning, and there's already fish and some bread. So we see Jesus already had breakfast prepared, He already had food. So the fish the disciples are bringing is just adding to the feast. これで分かりますね。見ると、もしイエスはそのもう朝飯の支、uh, 度もできていますし、魚もパンも持っていらっしゃいます、弟子たちのために。それ弟子たちは持ってくる魚は、それは加えるものとなりますね。うん、この絵も楽しいですね。これは、そのガルダや後半にいるシエスと弟子たちのことですね。So, この学科は、もう楽しい。明るいシーンを描いています。でもその炭火も見えるでしょう。その上に何か焼いていることもわかると思います。So this painter presents it as a very colorful scene and it's fun, but you can see that there's, there's a, a fire going and there's something cooking there already. シモン・ペトロが船に乗り込んで網を陸に引き上げると、Uh, 153匹の大きな魚でいっぱいであった。それほど多く取れたのに、取れたのに、雨は破れていなかった。Simon Peter climbed aboard and dragged the net ashore. It was full of fit, large fish, 153, but even with so many, the net was not torn. Now, there are many theories about what the number 153 might mean, what it might symbolize. But no one knows for sure, so we should just say, hey, it's a lot of fish.153、Uh, のことは、その筋は何か刺していると気がします。そして、もういろいろな考え方があって、でも、その意味の証拠はどこにもありませんので、私たちがはっきり分かっているのは、魚が多いということになります。Jesus said to them, Come and have breakfast. And none of the disciples dared ask him, Who are you? They knew it was the Lord. Yes, was sa kite asa no shoku ji o shina sai to iwarita. Desh tachi wa da de mo. Anata wa donate desu ka to toita da so to wa shina kata. Shuri aru koto shite ita kare de aru. Yes, wa kite pan o tote desh tachi ni atai rarita. 魚も同じようにされた。イエスが死者の中から復活した後、弟子たちに現れたのはこれでもう三度目である。And Jesus came, took the bread and gave it to them and did the same with the fish. This was now the third time Jesus appeared to his disciples after he was raised from the dead. パンを取って弟子たちに与えられたところは、私たちはその最後の晩餐、また生産式を思い出します。See where Jesus takes the bread and gives it to them. We remember the Last Supper and we also remember communion. But they're basically just having a fellowship meal together. でも簡単に言えば、シエスと弟子たちは、一緒に飯を取って、交わりを持っているところですね。So, この絵はもうシエスは弟子たちにそう魚とパンをあげているし、そしてペトロは魚をシエスにあ差し上げますね。So, これでもうお互いにもう分かち合ってその食事を、そして交わりを持っていらっしゃることを描かれています。So, in this、uh, mosaic, actually, not a painting, Uh, Jesus is giving bread and fish to the disciples, and then Peter is offering Jesus a fish as well. And we see that they are just having a fellowship meal together and、uh, sharing this and sharing that fellowship. So, Tsugi no Tokoro wa mo yohare niju isho no Tsugi no Tokoro o miru mai ni, tsoto mo mai no koto ni modote, since you get simony no hanashi ni modori masho. Before we go to the next part in John 21, let's go back and remember at the Garden of Gethsemane where we were last week. シエスはこのそのでお祈りして、そして後、兵士たちと指導士たちは来て、イエスを逮捕されて、も
その大祭司のところとピラートのところに引き連れて行ってシエスをもう裁判の前の状態となります。三度。Now after this, the, after Jesus is praying and things, we see the soldiers coming, some leaders coming, and they're arresting Jesus and they're taking him off、uh, to go to trial before the high priest and also before Pilate. Actually, three different little trial scenes there. Now, what I want us to think of now is what happens there. And what happens there is Peter and some of the other disciples, they try to go with Jesus, you know, at a distance and try to see what's going to happen. Petro to sono hoka no deshi mo, shies ni shigate ite, saiban de, do naru ka o kengaete miyo to omoimashita. Shikashi, mondai ga arimashita. Yohane, ju san sho, san ju hasets no ho deshte kiri de mo, son tokro wa petro wa ye. イエスはペトロに注意の言葉を言っておきました。ニワトリが鳴く前にあなたは三度私のことを知らないと言うだろう。悲しい言葉ですね。But next they're going to go there and the disciples are going to follow. But let's remember what happened back in John 13 38 when Jesus warned Peter, I tell you the truth, before the rooster crows, you will disown me three times. And that's what happens while Peter is trying to see. What happens at the trial? So, Petro was the Saiba no Koto o Mio to stay in Ida. Mo Yesu ga iwari te tori ni, Sando Yesu o shiru nai to imas. This is in John 18,、uh, verses 17 and then 25 to 27. You are not one of his disciples, are you? The girl at the door asked Peter. He replied, I am not. And as Peter stood warming himself, he was asked, You are not one of his disciples, are you? And he denied it, saying, I am not. And one of the high priest's servants, a relative of the man whose ear Peter had cut off, challenged him, Didn't I see you with him in the olive grove? And again Peter denied it, and at that moment a rooster began to crow. Momba no joshi wa petro ni itta, anato mo ano hito no deshi no hitori dewa arimasen ka, petro wa chigato itta, shimon petro wa tate, hini atate itta, hito bito ga. お前もあの男の弟子の一人ではないのかというと、ペトロは打ち消して違うと言った。大祭司のしもべの一人でペトロに片方の耳を切り落とされた人の身内の者がいた。そのであの男と一緒にいるのを私に見られたではないか。ペトロは再び打ち消して、するとすぐ。ニワトリが泣いたとありますね。これはヨハネ18章、17そして25から27節までのところです。それペトロはシエスを知らないと三度あいました。And Peter denies Jesus three times. Now, remember the warning in Matthew 10:33 when Jesus said this? マタイによる福音書にシエスの注意の言葉を覚えていますか ?Chapter 10, verse 33 But whoever disowns me before men, I will disown him before my Father in heaven. マタイ十章三十三節しかし人々の前で私を知らないというものは私も天の父の前でその人を知らないというもうペトロはもうダメですね。Peter's done for, isn't he? Sando hodo, she is a shirinaito ite shimata. Peter said he didn't know Jesus not once but three times. Petro go minasai o shimaida. Peter, I'm sorry, you're done for. Shikashi so nara nakata des. But that's not what happened. Do ste di shoka. Why not? これは大事なことです。これで私たちはいつも聖書から成功を一つ挙げて、それは、ああ、こう見て、こないるでしょうということをしないで、いつも文脈のこと、聖書全体、全科を考えるべきです。So this is important because it reminds us, you know, that we shouldn't just reach into the Bible and just pull out a verse and say, hey, look, here it is, the answer. It said we should always look at the full context of Scripture and consider the whole counsel of Scripture. 
And Peter becomes a very famous apostle after this. Why? Well, I think if we consider the whole context of Scripture, what Jesus says here in Matthew 10.33, he's speaking of people who continually deny him without repenting ever. Peter regrets what he's done and he repents. John 21:15 When they had finished eating, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you truly love me more than these? Yes, Lord, he said, you know that I love you. Jesus said, feed my lambs. There's a very interesting thing here. Kyomi bukai koto arimasne. Jesus didn't ask Peter, are you sorry for what you did? Will you promise never to do that again? Jesus didn't ask such a question. He asked, do you love me? Kyomi bukai koto wa shiesu ga kikareta no wa petro ni koukai shite imasu ka? Mo zettai ni shinai to yakusoku dekimasu ka? Jesus doesn't attack us when we make a mistake. He restores us. Uh, but Peter denied Jesus three times, and here we also see this will continue three times. Again, Jesus said, Simon, son of John, do you truly love me? And he answered, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said, take care of my sheep. ペトロが、はい、しよう。私が、あなたを愛しているか。ペトロが、はい、しよう。私が、あなたを愛しているかとは、あなたがご存知ですと言うと、イエスは私の羊に背負う、死ぬ際と言われた。3度目にイエスは
ペトロをどのように祝福してお許しになったことは私はヨハニ・ヨルフ君長一章十六十七節の言葉を思い出します私たちは皆この方の満ちあふれる豊かさの中から恵みの上にさらに恵みを受けた立法はモーセを通して与えられてが恵みと真理はイエス・クリストを通して現れたからである。From the fullness of His grace, we have all received one blessing after another. For the law was given through Moses, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. Jesus blesses us with grace and truth. イエスは恵みと真理を与えてくれさり、私たちに素晴らしい祝福を与えてくれさいます。ちょっと飛びますけれども、ヨハニ・ヨルフ君賞のもう最後の言葉、聖句です。Well, skipping a little bit, but let's just go to the last verse of John. Jesus did many other things as well. If every one of them were written down, I suppose that even the whole world would not have room for the books that would be written. イエスのなさったことは、この他にもまだたくさんある。私は思う。その一つ一つを書くならば、世界もその書かれた書物を収め,る収めきれないであろうとありますね。それで、私たちは、ああ、シエスがなさったこと、シエスがもうお語りになったことは、こんなに多いですとわかります。And、we understand that the things Jesus did, the things he said, are so many. それで私たちは別の福音書を開いてみると、ヨハネに載せ,られてない載せられていないことがあれば、びっくりすることはありませんね。So if we open a different gospel and we see things that John didn't record, we shouldn't be at all surprised. And as a matter of fact, there's another appearance of Jesus to the disciples that we should look at. そして、シエスはこの後も弟子たちに現れたことがあって、それを思い出しましょう。これはガルダイの山の上の出現と言われています。This is Jesus' appearance to the disciples on a mountain in Galilee. そしてこの絵には弟子たちだけはシエスと一緒にいるんですけれども、いろいろな聖書の学者はもう大勢がいたと思われています。この後、ポールは500人以上シエスを読み返られてシエスを見てと書き,の書きますから、このところでしょうと思う人が多いですね。And this painter, he just, he just、uh, pictures Jesus and the disciples. But we remember that Paul wrote that there was a time when Jesus appeared、uh, to more than 500 at once. And a lot of scholars, a lot of Bible scholars think that actually was the appearance of the mountain in Galilee, although we don't know for sure. もう確かに分かるわけではないですでも、多分ガルラヤの山の上の出現の時、大勢がいたかもしれません。そして、シエスはこの言葉をお語りになりました。And this is where Jesus gives us this word. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. イエスは地球を敵きて言われた。私は天と地の一切の権能を授かっている。だからあなた方はいて、すべての民を私と弟子にしなさい。彼に父と子と聖霊の名によって一緒にを授け。あなた方にイメージしておいたことをすべて守るように教えなさい。And teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. So, this is the Great Commission. これはあの、もう大宣教命令です。でも、最後の言葉を見てみましょう。But let's look at the last thing Jesus says. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. 私は世の終わりまでいつもあなた方と共にいる。これを見て考えて、シエスは今も私たちの間にいらっしゃいます。また私たちの心に宿ってくださいます。We look at this last word, we realize that Jesus is even now among us, and He's in our hearts, living in our hearts. 
イエスは生きておられます。Jesus is the living Messiah. 生きておられ私たちをいつも助けてくださり、祝福してくださいます。He's always with us, he's alive, and he's always blessing us and taking care of us.Let's give thanks. 感謝しましょう。お祈りします。And this time I'll pray in Japanese. Let's pray. イエス・キリストの父なる神様、私たちは心から感謝申し上げます。あなたがくださって祝福、あなたがなさったこと、私たちは感謝します。私たちをいつも帰り見てくださり、守ってくださったことも心から感謝します。あなたは私たちのために素晴らしい救いを備えてくださいました。私たちのために十字架上で死んでくださいました。それは私たちは罪の許しと永遠の命をいただけるのです。あなたのことを信じて、あなたに信頼して、あなたと共に歩むことができる。どうか今私たちに一人一人、そしてご家族、親戚、また友人と隣人にも、この大きな祝福をお与えください。聖霊を注いで、私たちは聖霊に満たされますように。あなたと共にいつまでも歩むことができますように。今、悲しんでいる人々にあなたは新しい喜びをお与えください。苦しんでいる人々に、ヤシの手を伸ばして、癒してください。困っている人々に必要を備えて、助けてください。私たちはあなたのことを感謝します。心から。イエスの皆によってお祈りいたします。アーメン